They haven't had. Ah, yeah. How about we go to cafe right now? Yeah, sure. For breakfast? Yeah, we haven't yes, had our breakfast. Of course, yes, yes. Hey, wait. Let what? me check my wallet first how much do I have. Oh no. Why? I only have 50 ringgit to survive today. To eat. What do I do? It's not enough. I know, right? What do I do? What should I do? I only have 50 ringgit for breakfast, lunch, and also dinner. I don't have any idea. I have like 500. I only oh. have 50 ringgit. How? What are these hackers about? No. The thing is, um, I only have 50 ringgit to survive the day for food, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't think it's enough. Yeah. We usually spend 50 ringgit for lunch, yes. for dinner. Yes. Oh my god, are you guys serious? Yes, I'm yes. serious. Chilis, of course, Nando's. Yes, oh. Nando's, of course. It's expensive. Really? Okay. But don't you think like, it's like... Is it possible? Yeah, is it possible for me to spend 50 ringgit for all the meals? I think it is possible. Really? Yeah, let's prove it together. One. Oh, you mean we challenge ourselves? Yeah. For the day? Yeah. Hey, what do you say? What do you say? For, day. for day. breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you usually spend on a daily basis for those three meals? Uh, usually I only spend about 10 ringgit a day. 10 ringgit? Uh, yes, for, actually I skip, I skip breakfast. Uh, uh. I combine it one with lunch, so uh. it's brunch. And then I eat once again uh, about 7 to 8 pm. So oh, I see. I just eat twice a day for 10 ringgit. So since you only spend 10 ringgit almost every day? Almost every day, yes. Okay. 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 So, um, hi. hi. So, where are you? Uh, my name is Ima. Okay, so you are a student or are you working? Uh, student. Student. Okay, so how much do you spend uh, in a day for breakfast, lunch and dinner? Um, how much? Uh, maybe less than 10. Less than 10? Oh, okay. Okay, usually breakfast I will skip because I don't have time to eat breakfast during my working time. Yeah. But if I have a breakfast, then it will normally be around 3 ringgit. 3 ringgit. Lunch? Lunch will be 5 to 6. 5 to 6. So we take 6. Is it okay? Six okay, six. okay. 9 ringgit. And for dinner? For dinner, I eat at home. Uh, so I save that. So basically, you spend like one day nine ringgit only. Yeah, around around that. Okay. Okay. So do you think that um, fifteen ringgit is like possible for other students to spend for the three meals? I think that uh, if I can, if I could, uh, if I can uh, spend about 10 ringgit just for two meals, I think that other students also are able to uh, spend about 15 ringgit for three meals because uh, based on that, uh, the students, uh, how they can self-control about what they want to eat and what they should eat, I think uh, 15 ringgit is enough. So you guys think you all can spend uh, for three meals 15, within 15 ringgit? Within 15 ringgit, maybe. Yeah. Maybe 10. So, um, do you think other uh, students can actually spend within 15 ringgit for their one day meals, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Do you think it is possible? Is it possible? Maybe. Oh. 15 ringgit. Yeah. I think 15 ringgit is quite too much for me. Too much. So, so it's possible. Yes. Yeah, uh, So other than having self-control, do you have any other advice on how they could like spend wisely on those uh, three meals? Uh, my suggestion is that uh, they need to learn how to control the diet. Not only how to control themselves, but also uh, they need to have 
uh, discipline themselves and try to uh, cooperate with their daily uh, money. Yes. Oh. They should have like a limit, ah. Uh, yes, they and, should limit. They, their... they should be disciplined to the limit. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Welcome. <laughs> Less than, uh, less than <laughs> maybe breakfast can eat some like man, no, people that uh, can spend within 15 ringgit so what is your advice to them oh i think it depends on because i'm living in Penang, uh -huh. and for me i guess the pricing for food in Penang and kl quite different because i find it quite expensive in kl uh -huh. so in in Penang, maybe it's quite cheaper so i i think it depends on the situation actually uh, take a simple meal like rice Reggie and a chicken in Penang will cost me 5 to 6 ringgit so uh, it can amount to 10 ringgit and below mm. so my advice to people out there who, who are spending a lot than 15 ringgit is try to cut, cut down extra meals to fix the I call that diet seimbang lah uh -huh. uh -huh. so today so today we change our Okay, so we're going to do the 15 minute challenge. It's comprising of like us challenging ourselves, the five of us, to spend only 15 minutes on all three meals for breakfast, lunch, and also dinner. You know, it's like some people find it impossible, but I don't think so. So, can we survive 15 minutes? Let's see. So guys, today for breakfast I'm having kueh, which is two ringgit, and also I'm having plain water because healthy living, duh. Yes. Okay. Um. Hi friends. So uh, for the 15 ringgit challenge per day, uh, I would like to begin with my breakfast, which is uh, tuna bread and Dutch lady milk. So I bought this tuna break for uh, two ringgit and this Dutch lady around one ringgit ninety cent, um, just two ringgit. So totally my breakfast will cost around four ringgit. Thank you. So hi guys, this is me, Shaydi. So for break for the challenge, uh, fifteen ringgit. Uh, fifteen ringgit for today. So for breakfast I had Kaya ball, which is cost two ringgit for ten kaya ball. So that's it. That's for my breakfast. Hi guys, I'm Wani. I'm accepting this fifteen ringgit challenge. And as for my breakfast, I'm eating this three in one oats, which is very healthy. And I think it's about two ringgit. Let's say. Thank you. Today, it's only 6 minutes. So, hi guys, this is Shahidin. So, for the challenge, uh, 15 minutes per day. So, I think I can see because for lunch, I have oops, nasi ayam. Uh, for this, is 5 ringgit and 50 cents. And also, fresh milk, which is so total up it's 8 ringgit and 50 cents. Hi guys. So um, I'll be having nasi ayam kunit for my lunch and I bought this for around 5 ringgit. Okay, thank you. 
so for lunch I'm having chicken and sayo um, and also kuah asam pedas which cost about 6 ringgit only so yeah So hi everyone, this is my dinner and this is all the uh, three ringgit. Hello, it's me Shaggy. So I think I feel this, uh, this challenge because this Yimi, it's six ringgit. So total I spend it's around 17 ringgit. As for my dinner, I'm actually eating nasi goreng Thai which is only 550 so here it is so hi guys for dinner today i'm having two pieces of ikea curry pop which is one ringgit each so it's two ringgit and also i brought the ikea ice cream for 80 cents and also this mineral water for one ringgit so summing up to three ringgit 80 cents so hi guys i'm back so um this will be my final meal which is my dinner i'll be having a uh, chocolate buns for my dinner i know it's quite light but then well i prefer to have light dinner okay so basically i won't really finish the whole packet i'm just going to eat you know two buns and that's it i'm done for the day so um i would like to happily say that I have fulfilled my challenge which is um, surviving surviving with 15 ringgit for a day for breakfast lunch and dinner so finally I managed to just use um, I just spent 12 ringgit 60 cents for my breakfast lunch and dinner so
chocolate buns. So I think uh, because of that, I I managed to spend within that fifteen ringgit. Yeah, for me. Um, even though everyone uh targeted that I would fail in this challenge, but I successfully went through it and I managed to go below the budget, below the fifteen ringgit, which is I only spent about uh eleven ringgit. So. Was um, I wanted to prove to people that I'm not that um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, so greedy? I what greedy? Greedy? No, greedy is greedy. too so greedy. I'm like greedy. Yeah, like, yeah, like greedy lah. So <laughs> they basically tried for each meal. I tried to lower my expense, usual expense. Actually, um, my minimum for every meal usually is like six ringgit to seven ringgit, but I managed to lower it down. Um, avoided myself from buying uh, drinks, sugary drinks, and I bought my own water bottle. So it doesn't only save money, but it's also good for my health. Good health. Yes, yes. So Wani is behind the camera right there. So we're going to switch right now. <laughs> Nowadays, so try to find all those cheap places and etc. I think avoid sugary water. I only did that for one day only, guys. Ah, excuse <laughs> me. Oi. Oi, hello. Do you guys find it hard? Yeah, it's so hard. Take watermelon juice and I have to plan well. So bye bye watermelon juice. <laughs> Perhaps we all can like pick few days where we just want to splurge instead of just you know having the boring Monday in life, same routine food every day. Talk about that, it. Uh, in order to success in this challenge, uh, people need to really can control their desires because sometimes when you uh, come across some advertisements of some good food like shoes, is sushi. So would you recommend this 15 ringgit challenge to other students and other people in society? Maybe we should do 10. Oh uh, yeah. Bye guys, that's all for this time. Oh, bye guys. Bye. bye.